Hey guys, it's Miss Castellion, and today I'm playing Chariot, a game for PlayStation 4. And guess what? This game can be educational. It's a physics-based game. That's right, a physics-based game. It uses laws of physics and physical science that we have already or soon will be studying in class. Today, I am playing as the little guy in green. And my assistant, Mr. G, is playing as the girl in pink. As we play, you are going to have to identify the different types of forces acting on the chariot and forces we are exerting on the chariot to make it move. And that's the chariot right there in the middle between us. First off, the rules of the game. The purpose of the game is to get the chariot through the different levels, collecting gems along the way. We will have to watch out for different obstacles, though. Looters, blockades, and, of course, the different forces that make this task either easier or much more difficult. And as I play through the game, on your piece of paper, you need to write the different words or phrases that will fill in the blanks that I will be providing, kind of like Dora the Explorer or Blue's Clues. All right, so let's get started. But wait, how does the chariot move? Well, we have to apply force. We can either use ropes and apply a blank force, or we can get behind it and apply the other type of force, a blank force. Throughout the whole game, we'll be using a combination of these forces to move the chariot along. If you notice, at the bottom corners of the screen, Mr. G and I both have gadgets to help us along. Mr. G is using the attractor. It looks like a magnet in the lower left corner. This is used to bring the chariot closer to him when the use of ropes doesn't really help. So the attractor, or magnets in general, blank things closer using this kind of force. Notice how he doesn't have to be touching the chariot to use it. My gadget is called a repulsor. Watch what it can do. And notice where I'm standing relative to the chariot. And notice which way the chariot moves. So the chariot is being moved by this kind of force. The repulsor is a blank, blank force. Now watch what happens as the chariot moves down the hill. What happens to its velocity? Why does this change happen? What force is helping it move along? Yeah. Now watch as Mr. G pushes it back up the hill. Why is it so much more difficult to move it? Where does the chariot want to be and why does it want to be there? Take a look as I push the chariot up this slight incline. When it rolls back down, it comes to a stop on its own. Why does that happen? What force is acting here? Once again, watch as we go down the series of hills. What is happening to the acceleration of the chariot and why does that change happen? You should be able to come up with two different reasons. In just a second, we are going to pull the chariot up onto a platform on the right. 
Notice the difference in the speed of its movement and the force our characters have to exert on it. Think about your friction lag. Why is there a difference? Once again, Mr. G and I have to use our attractor and repulsor. The attractor uses blank force, and the repulsor uses another type of blank, blank force. Look at this hill. Can you predict what will happen to the chariot's movement? How is it going to be different from what we have already seen? Brr! Now we're in an ice world. Remember the types of forces we have to apply to move the chariot? Do you think being on this ice will make our task easier or harder? I suppose even winter wheels aren't much help on a surface this slippery. Watch as I try to pull the chariot up this hill. Look at the face of my character and the movement of the chariot. Compare my force with the motion. Uh-oh, another hill. Look at the acceleration going down the hill this time. Why is it so different? This time, it's a lot harder for Mr. G to pull the chariot onto this platform. He is even sliding. Why is it so much harder to move? The chariot's in the snow now. How is the motion of the chariot different from when it was on the ice? Why is it different even though snow and ice are similar substances?
Let's revisit an earlier question. Does the ice make the game easier? in the game, Mr. G and I have to pull the chariot in opposite directions to complete a task. This makes a blank force with a net force of blank. Every time the chariot moves, the forces become blank. And in order to return to blank force with no movement, there has to be a lot of blank on the ropes. That's all for now. Next time you play your favorite video game, think about the scientific laws and forces at work.